Have you ever wondered if Earth might have more than one moon? Not in the artificial or satellite sense, but actual natural moons, albeit small and temporary ones. Known as mini-moons, they're a part of the universe that's rarely talked about, but holds great potential for science and the future of space exploration. In this video, we'll dive into the mysterious world of mini-moons, from their origins to the potential threats and incredible opportunities they offer. In 2006, a small object was detected orbiting Earth. It was named 2006 RH120 and was one of the first examples of what is now called a mini-moon. It didn't last long, only a few months, before escaping Earth's gravitational pull and returning to orbit around the Sun. This phenomenon surprised many scientists. Until now, we had believed that only the Moon orbited the Earth. But it turns out that there are other small objects that temporarily act as natural satellites of the Earth. Minimoons are different from our Moon in many ways. They're small, ranging in size from a basketball to a car. They don't stay put, just temporarily trapped by Earth's gravity, then released again. Interestingly, they may be more common than we think. Some scientists believe that Earth always has one at any given time. We just haven't looked hard enough to find them. The next question is, where do they come from? Most mini-moons are thought to originate from a population of near-Earth objects, NEOs, asteroids, and chunks of space rock that are in Earth's orbit. Under the right conditions, one of these objects can enter Earth's gravity zone and begin a temporary orbit. But there is also an interesting hypothesis. Some mini-moons may be pieces of the moon itself, the result of a meteor impact millions of years ago. The pieces were thrown into high orbits, then slowly trapped back by Earth's gravity. This is supported by recent studies of objects like 2020 CD3, which have characteristics similar to lunar rocks. If true, it would mean that mini-moons are a window into the past of the Earth and Moon. Despite their small size, some people ask, are mini-moons dangerous? The answer is complex. In most cases, they are too small to cause serious damage if they enter the atmosphere and burn up. However, their presence can disrupt the orbital paths of satellites or pose a hazard to space missions if they go undetected. But Mini-Moon's greatest potential isn't as a threat, it's as a resource. Because of their proximity to Earth and their small size, they're ideal candidates for robotic sampling and exploration missions. We can study the composition of asteroids without having to travel far into the asteroid belt. They're natural laboratories orbiting us for free. Why don't we hear about mini-moons very often? Because they are very difficult to detect. They are small, they move quickly, and they don't usually stay in Earth's orbit for long. Even the most advanced telescopes have a hard time finding them, except with automated monitoring systems and clever algorithms. But now, with the advancement of AI technology and projects like PanStars and LSST, Vera Rubin Observatory, the chances of finding mini-moons are increasing. Each detection opens up the possibility of new missions and even, who knows, small-scale space mining. Minimoons could be a stepping stone to the future of space exploration. They are perfect targets for training missions, experiments, and even testing planetary defense technology. Some scientists even dream of making Minimoons transit stations for interplanetary travel. In a world where space exploration is increasingly important, 
Many moons aren't just mysterious objects. They're opportunities. Opportunities to learn, to experiment, to protect. In the seemingly empty skies, there are tiny visitors who keep coming and going. Maybe it's time we started paying attention. So, does Earth only have one moon? Officially, yes. But if we look closely, we'll find that the sky holds more secrets than we thought. Many moons are a reminder that space is always moving, always changing, and always surprising. Don't forget to subscribe as we continue to explore the mysteries of the sky together.